your girl Shaniqua And it's your girl Liza You are now rocking with the two hottest queens from Queens Featuring Chicken Wing, a.k.a. One-Off Dick, Mr. Sexy 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 Queens from Queens, I'm your host Shaniqua And I'm Liza And I'm Chicken Wing, a.k.a. C-Dub, Mr. Southside The outside, you make the queens up in here. Yeah. We, got all up, we, have, we have all of them in the house. Yes. All of them in the building. We have all of them. All of them. Yes. I'm um, Erica. Erica. Uh, <laughs> some people call me Miss Erica D. Erica from Harlem. Erica, like one name. Love and hip hop. Y'all call me Erica. Let's call Miss Love and Hip Hop because if it ah. wasn't for Erica right now, Yandy wouldn't have a storyline right now. Oh. Oh. Let's, let's call her Miss Erica. She let's started out with Miss Erica. fire let's this year. Y'all saw her early. Miss Love and Hip Hop. So what's up, Shaniqua? Where we going with this thing today? Well, we, we want to get to know Erica. That's where we going today. Okay, no problem. Well, I'm Let's here. Roll. Whatever Let's y'all want to know, Erica's y'all have. Here. You open for any kind of question. What a, I'm uh, open for any Don't question. scare her. Don't scare our guests ask. today, Vic. Listen, I know Let's how y'all go. doing on the reality show. Do not throw that motherfucking drink in my face. <laughs> <laughs> he can't deflect. He can't deflect too quick. No, but that's only the routine. <laughs> yeah. Y'all got drinks and I don't. But we can't. He's handicapped, so, you know. Right. Well, I can't hold a car. Y'all are on that. Yeah. I can't hold a car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, no, no drink throwing. Nice. No drink throwing. Uh, wow, you went straight for that. <laughs> wow. No, I'm, the pigeon, I got to throw some questions out. No, I'm single. Okay, I'm so single. I keep on. But hold on, let's start with something. Wait a minute, but you was a little hesitant. No, I'm single. I'm single. Newly single? No, I'm all the way single. No, but like, how long you been single? For a long time. Okay, so why the hesitation? You don't want to be single? You ain't want people to know you long? I mean, it's not that I want to or don't want to. Like, if it happens, it happens, but... I'm kind of focused. Like, I have a son. I don't want people okay, right, out right, my right. son's smart. life. Smart. I'm still in the business. Right. Yeah. Smart. So That's I keep smart. that, That's you know, kind of Is there someone of low. interest, though? Someone you got your eye on? No, not someone really. Someone got their eye on you? A lot of people Probably. got their eye on me. <laughs> but, uh, She's a very okay. cute girl. Can I just start you know. with the beginning? How did Love and Hip Hop reach out to you or Mona huh. or... Let's start from um, the beginning. How did it happen? Well, from early on, like maybe third season... Oh wow! People have been reaching out to me like okay. we know they the wanted story. You for a minute. We want you to come. I mean, DC himself was like, "I think you should come on here." Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. I like that. That's big. Yeah, that it was. Be. And my it was the hesitance came from my part. I was like, "I don't know. Y'all not gonna get me up there and flip the story and have looking, me looking crazy. crazy. I don't mm -hmm. know how it is." Mm -hmm. But then as time went on, and then. Before he went in last season, he was like, well, come on, please. I need you to do this one scene. Just sit there. And I'm like, all right. As long as nobody gets crazy with me. I hey, throw no drink goes. in your face. Exactly. And when you, you say, say nobody gets like, crazy, you mean Yandy Smith? Uh, Yandy Smith. <laughs> oh, we use a full production. Government? Jeez. Whomever people might pop out the woodwork, right. I don't right. know. He might get on camera and change they up, set, like whatever it is. Up on I was usually. always worried about that, but mm -hmm. when that went smooth, I was like, oh, okay. And after that episode, production reached out again, like, would you come on? And you know, everything was cool. He he kind of wanted you on here, like he told us to come for you. So I'm like, all right, right. They show something. We'll take that's, it good. From there. that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. But do you think now that since it's aired, have your relationship changed with Mendezi? Absolutely. It changed all the way. Better or worse? Worse. We were actually cool before Love and Hip Hop. Like, we didn't have problems. Oh, it was so he kind of created a monster. Right. Oh, but so not, not a, he didn't create a monster. He and I were always cool. Like, we had a dope co-parenting relationship. Uh -huh. And I think if it would have stuck to that, it may have been interesting. And people would have been like, oh, okay, so you can have multiple baby mamas and still be good. Like, he was mm -hmm. a good father. I'm... He knows I'm a good mother. It was no problem. Like, we were really cool. When I say cool, like, there was no relationship, no romance, no nothing. But we were good. Okay. And then when the show came out, he's not here himself to see what's going on. So when he's being told different things, and they can't watch the show in Allenwood. He's in Allenwood. They don't watch oh, wow. VH1. They don't have VH1 at all. I think they have MTV but not VH1. It's not because of him or anything. That's just how right. it goes. Oh, Viacom well, used to get on that. I kind of up in Allenwood. I, I was in Allenwood. I don't want to put my business out there, but yeah, TV but still on certain channels. He was in the best for like 10 years. So eight years, eight months, and 11 days. Round it off to the nearest year. I say almost 10. Oh, my goodness. Well, anyway, yeah, I know how I said. <laughs> TV is stuck on certain channels to kind of keep down the violence from turning the channel. Like, don't turn that fucking channel. Right. So if you can't turn it, Because like something about turning. insight and riots or something. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's why he can't watch it. It has nothing to do with him himself. It's just the facility oh, he doesn't have Oh, he probably pull his head out if he could watch that shit. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he would. But 
But I kind of think, man, DC to me, in my opinion, he kind of instigates. Like when I say that, because I saw recently I watched an episode and he called Samantha, which is, you know, everyone knows Samantha is um, big man DC's mother. mother. Right. And he said, well, I was, well, I was sleeping with Erica and she knew I had a girlfriend and you were pregnant. So he was trying to call break a conflict. Y'all, right. But break y'all bond up. This right, is why y'all had I a line. Say, she wanted to break that up. Mm-hmm. This is why I say this is all for the show. And this is because Miss Smith calls him with stuff that has nothing to do with it. Prior to the show, Samantha and I have always had a nice relationship. I've been around her child since he was smaller. Mendeecey introduced me to Samantha as his girlfriend. But that says a lot. Mm-hmm. That says a lot. That says a lot. And he's never once... Like, all this stuff that they're coming up with is not even true. If you listen, he said, I met Erica 13 years ago. When we filmed that, Little Mendeecey was 10. How could I have met him 13 years ago if Little Mendeecey was 10? So Samantha was pregnant for two to three years. Like, they're making <laughs> right, stuff right, up right. out the blue yeah. sky just so that the storyline... Could go a certain way. Go more towards the end. And the average viewer, they're not. They're not that they smart. Don't think about yeah, they don't think. They don't think. Yeah, they don't think. Why can't you stop using those big but, words? Because the average viewer. Remember, I told you stop using those big words. And especially with them being on TV for like probably what five, six years now, mm-hmm. and developing this fan base and having all these people. It creates like a hood fairy tale. Right. Oh, man, DC, Eric. I mean, man, DC, Yandy. Right. You know? right. And then yeah. these two baby mamas come in and they don't know why everybody's at each and other's And y'all house. hating, y'all mad. We bitter. Y'all mad. No, no, actually, yeah. actually, they call, the, um, the, baby the Bitter mama. Baby Mamas Club. But then, but then would Yandy be a part of that because Yandy's not married? As you should you put see, that like on shirts, by the way. Married, Listen, I'm a marketing. Well, that came out because I'm a marketing expert. You should put that on some shirts, BBMC. First I'll of all, with you. first of all, the thing I have a problem with, just from my outside perspective, I feel like didn't Yandy have a big old wedding and it was like a big old VH1? I know she got a nice check for that, and they're not even legally married. That's it's so whack the for me. It's, it's yeah, it's for the storyline, but that's so whack It was me. just to impress people. I mean, she didn't, she didn't want to make a fool of herself by not having the wedding the day before the lawyer said, don't sign the papers. No, so I, he just went ahead with the facade. Oh, no, that's not true You got to think about that. Like, uh, this is what I'm saying. Whether they married or not, if you're going to say you somebody's wife, congrats. And if right. he's going to allow it, congrats. Whatever reason y'all did it for, that's y'all business. But you're not going to sit there and every time... Someone is like, well, why did you pop up at my child's school? Why did you, because I'm married, because I'm married, and you're not. And you're not. Right. If you want to have that in your own little world, that's fine. But don't throw it at us and then try to say that that's why we're hating on you. No, no and it's actually hating, but it's like, you're the third, quote baby unquote, mama. baby mama. You're not even a first, a second. And I hate the way, like she says, that you're a slide. Like, I guess because me, you, I, I'm the women be, do that. But women I'm hard do to that. Be fooled. Like, how. <laughs> How could you? I think that just women makes her do feel that. better because mm-hmm. she knows that you you weren't a were far. Well, you and Mendy seem like a real, in a real you, relationship. You was, his, you was his girl. I was his girl. We were living together. We were in a real relationship. Yandy likes to reverse roles. Right. She likes to say like, "Oh, you were the slide. You this. You that." Because she knows that's what she was. And Ooh. this is what pissed her off when I put that flippogram up. It was not to prove that I was in no, but you a relationship. No, you show a receipt. Mm-hmm. Right. You show a receipt. But this doesn't mean, like, they're trying to make it seem like I put that up to say, I'm with him now. This is my man. No, clearly these pictures are six years old, 10 years old, whatever it is. There's a picture of me and Little Mendici on there before he was one. So, Yandy, how could you say that? For, first, the story was it was a break. Right, they right, 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 right. A break of baby, something like that. I yeah, heard, I but. got with him, which to me that implies like I'm just some random chick that just go around sleeping with people having babies. Like they you don't need jump somebody, off right? Jump, jump off. Mm-hmm. Jump like off. I just <laughs> jumped in the situation, jumped off, and jumped out. Like that's right. how she tries to right. make it seem. A double Dutch almost. Exactly. Right, right. Mm-hmm. I got you. <laughs> then it was something about a slide. Then it was a babysitter. Like all these crazy random. She's talking with slang though. She's up on her swing. She got a lot of Well, if you for... would call these things, you would know how to throw them out at people. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. So, yeah, those who live in glass houses shall not throw stones. That's, exactly. Okay. That's the main thing right there. So mm-hmm. that was the whole point. It's like, no, I'm not showing that I'm in a relationship with him. Pictures from 2004, 2005 is not saying I'm in a current relationship. It's just to prove how much I'm lied on. First, I didn't know him at all. Then I knew him for two years, then one year, then five years, and this. And it's like, well, here's the proof of how long I've known him. So y'all can stop with that. Okay. But how is that relationship now? You said it's not as no, good as it used speak, to be. No, we don't speak at all now. 
that was, y'all got straight beef. Y'all don't, when y'all was the last speak. time y'all spoke? Was it like when you were filming? Yes, the last time I spoke wow. is when we were filming. But she changed a lot, and I don't understand. Like, so the worst thing for y'all relationship was you getting on the show. So I'm not gonna even say me getting on the show because he knew I was coming on the show. He no, wanted but for me on the show. What he was being it. told you said that probably kind of it's it. what he's being told and what he's allowing to happen and what he is believing, knowing that he shouldn't believe it, is what ruined. So you it. think when he gets out, y'all will be cool again? You think once he could see it and all things will be? I really don't have. A need to be cool with him. Brother, as long you got as a son he's, together. yeah, you got but a son that's together. fine. He can be with his son. I'm never gonna stop that. I encouraged okay. my son. To, his, he went to see his father last weekend. His grandmother okay. took him. I encouraged I that, but ask. we don't oh, have got, to be yeah. chummy, okay. chummy. So, yeah, you're, that's you know? true. I agree. That's Judy. Is his mother, right? Yes, yeah, Judy. I, is I, I watched the whole show this morning. Whole How do you episode, feel like her? Her, season, her from her perspective as a mother, because I always say to me, a man. It's only what you allow him to be mm-hmm. and what you hold him accountable for. Mm-hmm. And I feel like even as a mother, I'm a mother of a, a young a man young who's going to be a man. I mean, do she hold men DC accountable or is she going along with the circus and the charade? Like, what do you Well, the mean? mother always going to be on her son's side. No. That's not no, necessarily no, 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 true. No. Let me tell you something. No, no, no. Jeffrey Dahmer's mother said he was sweet. He had bodies in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> a mother I was always raised gonna... around males. And you're right. To, some, to a certain extent, you're never going to want to see your child hurt or you're never right. going to want to see your son in a position that he's in. But at the same time, you have a grandmother, you have grandchildren. So now your grandchildren become your priority. And you know that your son is being lied to. It's one thing to say, all right, I love Yanzi. This is my daughter-in-law, whatever it is. Y'all are his kids' mothers. But all of that, me sitting there, defending your story, backing you up, knowing that you're lying, I'm not touching that. I'm here for my grandkids. And Judy and I had it where you could come get your grandson anytime. I'm not stopping you. But don't get on TV and tell me I'm lying. When first and foremost, you know I'm not lying. And second, like, you really, why are you doing this? To please her, it's not helping your son. It's hurting him. But do you think Judy is Team Yandy because Yandy's the breadwinner? Absolutely. Yandy's about that paper. (laughs) Listen, I I admire that about Yandy. She's about that paper. No, I think Judy is Team Yandy because she feels like Yandy is the one who is on television. Yandy is the oh, she's not the owner, but in their eyes, they look at it as. This is her show. She runs it. So I'm going to stick up under her right. or else I'm going to be out. So what is there something that you would like to tell the world about Erica that we don't know? All right. I think that... Who is Erica? Give us a little, just a backstory on you. Erica, I'm from Harlem. I come from... Harlem on the rise. <laughs> I come Willie from... Willie Burgess. Well, I'm from... Spanish Hall. I'm from the east side. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, see, like, see, originally. see. <laughs> see. Okay. Um, I come from a family. I'm actually like my family has ties to the music industry. Okay. Um, I'm probably like one of the relaxed, coolest, nonchalant people you could ever meet. I'm not. I'm always <laughs> smiling. I'm always happy. I'm not like this angry person that's always ready to fight and kill people. Do you feel like you're being viewed as an angry person right now? I think it's fifty-fifty. I think some people see see it for what it is, and then a lot of people see it like oh no this girl is angry she's crazy those people i really don't care about like, she you turn up though she like you pop off kind of quick. no i will but that don't make you an angry person i will mm-hmm. you, i'm just somebody no i'm just like no i'm you just be a no nonsense don't take yeah no tolerance aggression. like i don't have tolerance okay. for that you're not gonna run okay. over me and say what you want to do what you want are you a fighter like you have fights as a young girl no i'm not a fighter okay i'm not a fighter but i know how to defend myself i mean you're not gonna just come at me and think i'm not gonna swing on you but you don't want to see that Cause you sound like you seem like you're ready to go. Like, no, I am ready to go if you want me to go. No, but I think the last episode I watched when Kim Bella came to the um, little men's birthday party. party, yeah, you didn't seem you still were calm. Samantha's more turn up, I think, to me. You to were me, making no. these faces at that party because though. I feel like I this. I was like, oh shit, y'all not serious. You, I'm. You can easily find me in the street. So you think you're gonna come over here and pop off because it's. 12 bodyguards that's not going to let anything happen anyway. Mm-hmm. So why am I going to hype myself up and do a listen? I know they're going to grab me and sit me right back down and you're never going to get past this door. Right, right. <laughs> do, you think, do you think people act differently on camera versus off camera? Oh, yes, they do. Okay. It's like payday. Oh, yes. Like, niggas act yeah, different yeah, yeah. on payday. Yeah. So you know when the camera's on. So the relationships that, that you have, like, what's your relationship now with Judy and with DC's mom? Judy and I don't really have a relationship. Oh, wow. Before the show, we had an excellent relationship. Judy wow. would call me up like, oh, I'm going to my cousin's house today. You want to come bring the kids? 
Yes, I'm coming. Oh, I'm going shopping scene. today. Could you come? Oh, I got to get this for this scene I'm shooting today. Could you come mm -hmm. with me? Mm -hmm. And you it was cool. a lot of people because of this show. Wow. So the relationship between her, her and her grandson has changed. Not really. I mean, she if she still, if she wants to see him, she knows how to contact my mom. She knows how to text me. Like she has another son. He stays out of it. That's Asim's uncle. He comes and picks him up. Oh, that's okay, cool. So that's it's good. not, good you know, it's like, structure. just now, because I have an issue. your mom is not on the show, right? No, no, my mother. Okay, mm -mm. well, Samantha's mom is on the show. Mm -hmm. My and... mother pop off. Oh, oh your mother. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, so they wanted to be on the show, like, nah, 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 my mother will ruin this whole shit. Like, listen, y'all gonna have all types of lawsuits. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay. Right, right. Oh, because I was always wondering why, how come her mother ain't on the show? No. She used to come take up for her. Mm -mm, my you mother don't got come. no sisters, no nothing on the show. You just don't know. But that's because I had scenes with like family members and cousins and they would slip the note saying, don't let her family in here. They're oh, a little, wow. you know, they'll threaten people and all that. And I'm like, oh, really? Oh, family about that life. Oh, like, wow. it's really, yeah, they it's they not gangster. that serious. They, really about, um, they may think so, though. Because they in their front like they tough. Your family may really be tough. And they like. I don't want them niggas in here. Right. They really gonna hurt shit. <laughs> right, right, right. These cameras upside down. Okay, but, okay, okay. So then you say you're from you're from Spanish Harlem. Mm -hmm. You uh, do you have any siblings? I have a brother, but he doesn't live here. He lives in Milwaukee. Oh wow. But that's it. But Milwaukee? I have so oh. many like first cousins and cousins that we grew up like brothers and sisters. Yeah. That it feels like I have like ten brothers and sisters. Oh, it sounds like you have a big family. Yeah. Okay. You're not in the hood, everybody. That's my cousin. Yeah. Shanique no, no, cousin. I mean real cousins, no, like. But we fake it sometimes. No, we don't. In the beginning, you like, it's my cousin. <laughs> no. Marquis, my nephew. So that makes me your sister. I'm just saying. I say it all the time. <laughs> nephew, bro. I see him on Instagram. But it nephew. wouldn't make you. It would make us sisters and brothers. Well, we some cousins. type of front family. Okay. Liza, we not. They could tell. No, but we. He's Spanish. <laughs> that doesn't mean, I mean. That's how my family is. Like, my dad's side is like five of them. My mom's side is five of them. Okay. Everybody has kids. So it's you like. Have a big family. Right. So it's like 13 first cousins on this side, 10 wow. on this side. And everybody's close. Everybody grew okay. up together. Everybody grew up in the house, you know, like going back and forth from each grandmother to grandmother. So I have a big family. Okay. All right. So let me. What would, What's like a typical Saturday for you, like? Typical Saturday, I wake up early. I'm trying to take you out. Girl. I take my son to. <laughs> I know I ain't trying to take out, but <laughs> now you bring it up, that's kind of good. For Saturday is like Saturday. a mom day for me. I okay. take my son oh. to basketball practice. He has swimming practice. We spend time. We go out, and then like my mom will watch him, or my dad, somebody will watch him, and then I'll go out. Then it's like I have. Time. You right, right. It's it's, time. it's Erica okay. time. So and what's home, Erica okay. time? I like lounges. I go out. Um, it's a spot in Harlem. I actually do my own parties there on Mondays. It's called MBV. I go out to eat a lot. I okay, love what's to MBV eat. Yeah, I'm a foodie Manhattan too. Manhattan Brew and Vine. Okay, that sounds nice. Yeah, it's on 109 in Columbus. It's a nice spot. Yeah, I'm, I'm I like cigar spot. lounges. Yes, I've been to a cigar lounge. I think it was like on maybe 40 something street. It was pretty cool. That's cool. Okay. Was, yeah. And your night is a Monday night at this spot? Yes, yeah, Monday All nights. Right. All right. That's the night your out. show come on. Right, and I watched the show in there, there for the, yes. the patrons. It gets played, so we're going yes. Monday and you're treating. No, we're not going <laughs> Monday, and I'm definitely not treating after what happened Friday night. <laughs> Why? Because so, you. That's a whole other subject. But you didn't home. pay for the whole dinner. You, you were half, half and half. Half was enough. It. Half was a whole dinner for four people. This I was gave you my shrimp scampi. It was cold. <laughs> and you didn't eat it. Yeah, you wanted it, gave You don't eat shrimp scampi. I don't. I didn't order it, but. Well, they should have given it to me. I paid for it. Okay. But that's a whole. We got Erica here. I'm talking well, about Erica, paying for Erica did it somewhere. Yeah. Right now, I know it's off season, mm -hmm. right? Are you coming back next season? Can you say or, or um, VH1 have you? I mean, if I was coming back, I couldn't say. But if they were to have interest in me again, which I, I mean, I don't know what the story would be, I would have to make that decision. And if it was another season of me, of them taking whatever I say and making it about her for 12, mm -hmm. 14 episodes, then I would, like, I couldn't get it. But if we could see more of me right. and what mm -hmm. I do outside of whatever this drama is, right. But some of the I drama is kind of self-created. And some of it's necessary yeah. for TV. Like the fake and... page. I was thinking about the fake page. That was kind of deep. <laughs> let me tell you about this fake page. Let me about this oh, fake let page. Let me tell you the tape conversations. Right, right. No, no, no. I don't want to get to the <laughs> tape conversations because that wasn't her. Let me tell you about the fake, the fake conversation. But the tape conversations. Erica was on the, the conversation. Right. You was conversation. on the conversation, right? Yeah. And, and when I was watching it, right? You was riding with Samantha, but your face said, bitch, after the scene, I'm going to run a fuck this tape with me. 
Because she was like, I no. taped you too, Judy. But you was like, so what? She taped me. But you was just kind of like, bitch, I want to. Yeah, your face. Like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let me tell you. That's, so that's what you call the magic of editing. Before walking into that scene, I already knew that Samantha had taped me. So I was not surprised. Okay. It wasn't. They, 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 they took that face. You look like whatever that That was the money shot. That was the money shot. You are like, so what? She taped me. I'm like, because no, let me reaction. tell you the method behind that. And this is why I say, this is why I, I do what I do. Because in real life, yes, I was taped. That was foul. Can we admit that was foul? No, it's foul. You don't it's want to be taped, right? It's definitely foul. I don't want right. to be taped anyway. Not knowing it's foul. Right, like this shit is taped. You know, this right. is taped. Though. But at the same right. time, if it wasn't for that tape, they wouldn't have had a storyline against me. You understand? Why, you got to think about why would this tape come up? You can't find no dirt on me. You can't find nobody out here to say, oh, she a slide, she this, she that. You can't say I'm a hater. You can't say none of that. So the goal was, well, if we could put these tapes out and make her look messy and make her hate Samantha, it's an easier battle for Yandy to come in there because now she divided them. No one's going to believe them. Well, They're Samantha gonna look like, made the tapes, not the producers, right? Samantha and I were having a conversation. That's like if you and her are friends mm -hmm. and y'all have girl talk or whoever it is. It's an open conversation with the person you're on the phone with because you don't think this is getting anywhere. So you're unfiltered. You're gonna speak yeah, about I certain would things. Yeah, I would she was taping me. Yeah, I, I, I feel I would, like, yeah. especially like I feel like if you're having a conversation about you personal, know, exactly. Personal, yeah. Yeah. And this is sure. this is what it is. I wouldn't be happy. Samantha is not the one to put the tapes out. Yandy put the tapes out. Now well, you got to no, like Coco. Coco. Listen, the I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm, no, Coco. Yandy put the tapes out. I'm getting right, to got it. Coco, though. She got them Coco. She got them Coco. She getting Coco checked? What did it? I doubt it. They tried to take Coco up too. I don't care how much they, they tried to take Coco up. It was it was rough. You I'm know like, Coco? No, I saw. Oh, it. I I'm saw like, wait, what? You can, see, no, you can see from the makeup, like they tried with that one. Oh, they tried to make wow, up. You say it all right though, but I you don't can know. <laughs> but they make a budget went up the day they had Coco on. There. <laughs> oh God. No, I'm just Whoa, saying. Coco's getting now. it. Well, okay. she can see me in these streets. I'm about that life. Okay. Right. That's what I'm saying. Please see me in these streets. Yeah, see me in these streets. I'm about that. But. What it was is, for all I know, Yandy sent Coco in from the jump. Samantha was having conversations with me. She was recording the conversation. She recorded every conversation that came through on her phone, right. and right. she sent them all to Coco, believing that Coco was this publicist, this person that was going to help her do whatever. Turns out they had some kind of falling out. Coco sent the tapes to Yandy. There's plenty of things in there that would have really made Yanzi look bad. You never heard those things played. Yanzi played what she wanted to play. Mm -hmm. There was never anything in there about plotting against her. There was nothing. There was the truth in there about things well, that why, we know. Why could they never let us hear the tape? That's what I thought they let us hear. And this is what I'm saying. But is it, is it, is it, but is it, but you know, it, but certain states, it's illegal. It's, it's illegal. illegal to no, take people in certain states. No, as long as one person knows though, right? That, that's but no true. one knew? But no, no one wants to sit there and go through that. No one wants to sit there and battle with that. That shit got out when he said grab by the pussy. So, but that was that wasn't like a, though. so that tape got out. So why? a network tape. Right, but how come this tape can't get out? You know and this is my thing. I told Samantha. <laughs> Did you say some shit like that? Grab him by the penis. Grab no, I okay. didn't like that. <laughs> grab me anybody by the pussy. But I you told want me to grab Samantha. Guy's little arm. <laughs> Y'all are cold. <laughs> I'm just keeping it going. Just, you know. Just so <laughs> I'm like, you know, it was wrong, Samantha. I can understand you recording everybody because we're on a show. You don't know who's who, who's gonna know the back. trust. So you did it for your safety. Mm -hmm. I think where you messed up is you let somebody you didn't know get a hold yeah. of something so personal. 100%. And what they, what she did was say, like, whenever her and Samantha fell out, she's like, well, I got these tapes and whatever, whatever. So Yandy like, oh, you got the tapes. I'm going to pay you. I'm going to get the tapes. I'm going to release what I want to release off of them and then tell a story that makes them look bad. Honestly, if they would have played whatever I said about Yandy, I wouldn't have cared. I wouldn't okay. have gave a good damn <laughs> well, because it was the, the absolute the truth. It was nothing about no cheating on. I don't care. I, I could catch him in DC red-handed with somebody. I'm not gonna tell. Can you I could like catch Yandy red-handed. Like I'm not gonna tell. It's not my you business. I wouldn't tell. I don't care. I wouldn't tell on her. Plus, not only that, when you try to tell on somebody's boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, yeah. whatever, you think they don't know anyway. Yeah, I always know. say, I always say, you know who you sleep in next. You know to, who like, you, you deal you with. So why know. would I yeah, sit there I, and I tell? I know all the time. Some girls don't know. Some girls be shocked. They boys will be cheating. 
Yeah, that's true. They do. It that's depends true. on the man. Yeah. And I feel like Medisa's track record hasn't been very clean when it comes to women and relationships, right? And I mean, you can't expect something from a relationship that you don't give. She know who she is. Therefore, mm. she's not going to sit there and be like, oh, I'll put this past him. Like, that's just an act, that whole naive thing. But I, sh- I guess she was afraid that that stuff would have come out, so she s- spun it around. Like, oh, they were plotting to say that I was doing X, Y, and Z. No, you were. Ooh. This is not a lie, what was Ooh, said about okay. you. But the blogs, you, no one ever heard that because she doesn't want it to be heard. Right. Because if it is heard, there may be other people that come in and be like, nah, I mean, because you did mind. wonder because they're not really married, so that means there's no conjugal visits going on. So No, not in the feds. I could vouch for that. So, so, I mean, no. so I'm saying. No. <laughs> You ain't getting none in the face. Maybe she has a what? What you gonna call it? A fee fee bag. A fee fee bag. Oh, yeah. I, wait, yeah. I googled before I came here. Fee fee bag. Talk about that. Fee fee bag. Yeah, I got a lot. Yeah, I got a lot of prison stories, but uh, we ain't gonna go into those. But tell us about this fake page. The fake page that was created. That was Yandy creating the page. This is her. They said you flipping created the a story. Fake page. Right. This is my thing. I will never create a fake. If I have something to say to you, I'm going to say it. I'm not gonna hide. I want you to know what's coming from me. So. In the beginning, when all this happened, this is before I got on Love and Hip Hop. This was the first time that Mendeecees had went away. Mm-hmm. They called. We were all in court for him. His mother asked me, "Could a publicist put up a picture of my son?" And I'm like, for a, "Like, what kind of picture?" She was like, "No pictures. It's gonna be pictures of Mendeece, the kids, whatever, whatever." I'm like, "It's fine if you do that." But I do not want Yandy putting up pictures with my son. I see what she did to Samantha. Meaning, she takes these pictures and she acts like she's raising these kids just because she has a couple of pictures of them and making us look like right. we're not leaving our kids with her. We like they but in didn't a trap Mandisi house. Did Mandisi live house. with her and Mandisi for a little while? No, no. Oh, okay. I thought that's no. Well, from the show, it seems like no. That that was all created. No, he did okay. not. Like that's like saying my son lived with her. If you have parents that are not together. Nine times out of ten, the mother is the custodial parent. You allow your kids to go with the father so that they can spend that time. Just because you might spend there, let's say he might stay there three nights a week, and then he goes home for the rest of the week. He does not live with Yandy. Okay. He is not in Yandy's care. She is not raising him. Okay. He's splitting his time up with his parents. So, but man, DC had a problem with Yandy um, not being there for their children. For her own child. I remember that scene yeah, where he like that. told he her he was really taking upset. him to the hospital oh, and she, she couldn't like pick her lot, son up. Right? Uh, so if you mm-hmm. can't pick your own child up, you can't be responsible for your own child, why do you want the world to think that you're responsible for other women's children? Okay, but just for the record, let's clear. You didn't make the fake page. I didn't make the fake page. Oh, that's, that's, what, I that's what I was getting to. Because I was with you on the fake page. No, no, no. I came at her page. <laughs> what? No, I do. Listen, long story. Cardi B blocked me on my <laughs> real page. No bullshit on my real page. And I fucked with Cardi B long before she got on This Love is what Hip-Hop. happened. I so was blocked. I made blocked. a fake page so I could follow Cardi B, but now my fake page got a little... But a lot of people don't know my fake page. I'm done. What is your fake page? I'm not telling what people know. They block me like you. But all the people that block me, no, I get blocked often. You sometimes I get blocked often from friends, family. Wow. I see the craziest shit. She blocked me. I, I, she blocked me. This is what happened. I went to tell her to take down a picture of my son because she Uh was told, "Don't put this picture up." Whatever, whatever. Like I was feeling some kind of way because the so-called publicist page or whatever was saying stuff about me, but then posting pictures of my son. So I'm like, no, we're not gonna have this. So when I went to her page to tell her to take the picture down, I seen that I was blocked, and I'm like, why would you even block me and then put my kid's picture up? So I made a page called Erica Dishaz on my name, and I said, this is me. Remove my son's picture down because you blocked my other page. She took that down. She took the picture down, and that was that. And did Mendici caught the fake page on your phone? No, there was never nothing that Mendici. But caught. why would he be grabbing her phone? This if is they're what I'm saying. No, no, bitch grabbed my phone last night. She I was said, tight. No, no, no. I was she on my said, phone texting. Bitch grabbed my phone. Who you texting? We know oh, I said, who not was you. it? We ain't gonna put their names out. Uh, it, could be, it could be anyone. Yeah, somebody grabbed my phone last night. I'm like, get my motherfucking phone back. Did you ever grab my phone? Well, according to Yandy, as you heard her say, he's disgusted with you. He doesn't speak to you. Y'all don't communicate. I think he she's really that, that, jealous that, that, of that, that, you. So if this is the case, is. my phone, I do real estate. So we're required to have long passcodes because of the confidentiality right. of the clients. You mean to tell me we don't speak, but he got close enough to me to grab my phone, go through my coat, open it up, talking about a fake page. Yandy got busted making a fake page. He called from jail to tell her to cut her shit on these blogs and stop with the fake pages with his baby mamas. 
she kept on putting stuff up, talking about you mad, this and that. From my understanding, she was in Turks and Caicos making this page. This was before the so-called wedding. And he called her and spazzed out on her. Probably like, just cut it. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> she went to skirt the laws. She went to Turks and Caicos where fake pages are legal. No, Go she ahead. was out there for some event or some wedding, something she was out there for. And she kept on coming. And you can, like, I knew it was her re- anyway because the things that she was saying, Nobody mm-hmm. knew. Like, it was stuff like, oh, why you dressing a seam in Medici in the same clothes and you ain't buying no clothes for Omir? What? Like, who would call? Who would know that? Who would even that. be yeah. able to? So, I'm so like, she created her own drama. That sounds like a um, but if you get, But no, but if you get paid from drama, I mean, reality That's why TV. she calls herself a yeah. producer. She's not a producer of Love & Hip Hop, but mm-hmm. since she produces these situations in her head, <laughs> oh, she's she a producer. Okay, now, okay. Going back to what Shanika was just saying, I do feel like it's probably hard for Yandy. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be hard for any woman when the other, I hate that term, baby mama, when the other children, when the, their mothers are pretty girls. You know, I think it's... I, I don't, don't even think... I think it's past the looks. I mean, because it it's, 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 look, it's the feeling. It's, it's looks. It's, it's just... Combination. It's, I, think I mean, Medici's a good-looking guy. He could get any good looking chick so that means nothing it's it's how he it's the, feels you got children it's how he guys. feels that's the problem that's she knows right, that looks like, looks has to do with she looks it. it's, it's not look yeah. what it is is it's she everything. feels she knows everything. the history she knows what has really happened and it's still bothering her because even in the show i never bought the relationship up i would have never bought it up right. if she didn't bring it up okay. mm-hmm. she continued to bring the relationship up she knows about the history she knows about the things that I have that I can say Mendeecee gave me. I have things that I can say I've done with Mendeecee. I have things that I could, like places I can say I've went with him. She cannot say that. All she can say is, oh, y'all, everything y'all seen in this relationship happened during Love and Hip Hop. Nothing was before that. So she, I guess, feels the way and she feels like, damn, he kind of shitted on me with shorty. So he used to shower you with gifts and stuff like that? Right. No, because I did that when I was in the streets. That was my. I don't think it has was a being in the streets, but it's not called tricking if you got it. Who no, it's that? not. No, it's you know, it's a, well, no, if, if you with a person, it's, it's, it's not girl. girl. No, it's, it's just a girl. girl. But it's well, like, if I take you out to eat, we, we did things for each other. I get a dinner too. If I take you on a trip, I'm on a trip too. I don't send you on a trip with your girlfriends. That's tricky. But you're just gonna do that with a random. Yeah, trip, no. if it's your no, girlfriend, it's yeah, but not. That's what I'm saying. Be, she hasn't even had a honeymoon be. yet. So when you look at it like, damn, I ain't even going away with him, and she been here, 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 here. But then you trying to paint me as somebody who was nobody in his life, and then you got him backing up your story. But then the receipts come out. Right. It's like, all right. Well, let me but say man, this. But has been doing a lot of backing up stories because, as you know, Jim Jones. Yes. Had a very good interview with um, Funk Master Flex on Hot 97. It was emotional. So then, yeah, no, very Yeah, that was that was. I think that was emotion. one of the best interviews I think, I think yeah. I've seen in hip hop. And um, it was, it was I think it was raw. Interview. It was raw emotions. It was it was a great interview. Nah, best interview that baby shit. Put <laughs> no, some respect on my name. Was, Short no. and sweet. No. Best no. interview. That's we'll never forget that. That was that was a different kind of best interview. No, anyway. So now Camera went on Instagram live to combat. Mm-hmm. The story, mm-hmm. and Mendici calls on the phone to Cameron. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, on the phone to say how Jim Jones ran from him, and Jim Jones is scared of him, mm-hmm. and yeah, it was. So, what do you think about that whole little debacle? I mean, it's old now, but of course it's new because people are finally I hearing hear it, it for yeah. the mm-hmm. first time. I knew as soon as it happened. I feel like they two grown men. They could have squashed whatever. Again, when you get down to the root of the problem. Yandy was in the middle. So she's the common but denominator. But that's their <laughs> issue. I don't feel any type of way about it. It's none of my business. I mean, I knew it happened. I wasn't there physically to see it, but as soon as he finished fighting with him, he came to me and he told me whatever I got into it, blah, blah, blah. And I was just interested listening to Like, I'm listening to it, and I'm hearing what he's saying. And he says, Cam asked him a question, like, about squashing the beef. He said something like, well, how did the beef get squashed? And he's like, the beef didn't get squashed, but my man D from Rough Riders came and squashed the beef. And I'm like, oh, your man D, that's my family. You know him because of me. Oh, wow. But I'm the babysitter, <laughs> this, that, that. And he said, that's but my man. Can't. He reiterated that D yeah. was his man. He, he did. That's what I'm saying. D, that's my man, too. Like, you... Getting a little crazy and disrespectful with me, but then you throwing my family's name up saying that this is the person that you called to settle your beef. So, like, that was my only thing. When I don't even care about him and Jimmy and Cam's story, whatever went on with them, that has nothing to do with me. I'm a woman. I don't get into men fights or whatever. 
But I'm just like listening, like, mm, this is, you know, I, well, I, I hope was it doesn't get too back. crazy. I hope like it doesn't that. go anywhere we after that. this. We like, need to bring I don't, good hip hop back. New York needs yeah. to stick together. I'm tired. I, I, I feel like Jim Jones that made to come. I think they need to come. Together I think, and do another I album. think they the, the window of opportunity has passed. I think they waited too long. You think right? Because you yeah, still they, know. they still have, have a, a decent bullshit. following though. Bumble rap. No, they do have. No, they do have a following. But I feel like it's too. They gotta come out of the it's, old it's, yeah, it's just. Yeah, I think it, they should have been. Should. They should have been reconcil- reconciled the differences. I don't know. But I think Jim Jones signed the Rock Nation. I think yeah, that's, a, that's a Rock Nation party right. like right. last night. The brunch. Yeah. But Jim Jones is still relevant with the young people because he's still on TV. And things like that with Chrissy, so he could kind of mm-hmm. get something popping. You know what I mean? So hopefully he does it. Because they need to bring something back from New York. Because I'm tired of this shit mm-hmm. that they got now. I, 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 I enjoy it. watching Erica and Samantha and Nats. The, and well, I never, and no, I never watched it till this morning. <laughs> I watched the whole yeah. season. And I liked it. And not because you're here. I said, out of all the three, this girl Erica's the prettiest. More my type. I'm not saying... To me, thank you. I don't want to offend nobody. Might have me and you on the show one day. <laughs> but you more my. I said, man, that girl is pretty. She the prettiest one out there. He, he doesn't have they, a good track record with women. Yeah. No, Uh-oh. no, no. Not talking about a good. I got a long track record. Cause you made it sound like nigga don't get that. <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said your right. track record is not good. Right, don't let the little hand fool you. I'm popping in these streets. I know you're popping in okay. these streets. Okay. Okay. All right. Don't come for me. Then watch your girlfriends around me. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them around. But anyway, so, so what, what businesses do you have going? Like you said, you're a realtor. Yes, trendy that, boys. That's my, trendy boys. The real Let's estate thing. Let's talk about the real estate person. I, I had a real estate company. company so that's just like my person. regular bread and butter. I okay. sell properties in Midtown Manhattan. I work under brokerage. You know, you have. Oh, that's big yeah, yeah, So a commercial realtor or no residential? Residential. Okay. I do most mainly rentals, like Midtown okay. rentals. I have sold co-ops, condos, like on the outskirts in Bronx. Um, like taking clients out to Queens, different places, but okay. mainly it's Manhattan rentals. Okay. And outside of that, I have a clothing line. For kids, right? Yes, a boy. Is it a boy? Yes, it's me and Samantha. What it is is I've been working on this for years, for a long time. And the company is called A Royale. I mean, DC put it up on his page maybe like two years ago. And it's, I was at first just doing custom jackets, different things for boys. And then I'm like, let me just turn this into a line. So I, it was me, myself. I went to school for design. Okay. So oh. I sketch, I source fabric, I do all that on my own. That's so dope. I was like, well, let me. in-house, that's dope. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, well, why not mm-hmm. put a line out? And then especially having a son and I'm in the stores, I'm like, it's so it's much hard. stuff for girls. He's always so fashion right. forward. And I see, for boys. I see oh, he's always dressed so cute. And now Thank Samantha's you. down with you on this? Right, because I heard that on the, on the show. what it was is um, she's good with like the computer stuff, marketing. She's good with stuff like that. Okay. So I was like, since I'm doing a line and you were saying that you wanted to do something, I think it'd be cool if we collaborated. And then, you know, I'm going to give stuff to him in D.C. anyway. You were trying to throw a bone like, listen, you ain't doing shit. Yeah. No, no, she okay, worked. Okay. She had her own thing going on. Like she, yeah. Oh, no, you wouldn't worry like that. That's what really. Let me throw this. Yeah, it's dope. Like, yeah, no, no. So she just said was, that. I mean, they compliment each other. Like, why are you trying to start beef? Yeah, yeah because I'm trying to start no beef. I'm just trying to figure this. You thing. always <laughs> trying to start beef. No, no, I squash beef. I'm a peace man. You said squashing beef wasn't good a couple of episodes ago. Uh-oh. No, no, with women, with women, women shouldn't be beefing and throwing drinks in each other. You would be perfect for loving hip hop. No, they don't want me. They don't want me. They don't want me. Them bodyguards can hold me, and oh. people gonna come for me. People come for me, but then they regret it though. But that's a whole other story. So anyway, but we um, you know, we started doing a clothing line together, and then the show decided to pick that up. It was so many scenes where we were working on it, but they didn't show they didn't sh- that because wow. you know, I guess it wasn't enough drama. It was just like they gonna fall asleep if we but show I y'all. Say reality out TV is a big, it big. It's the biggest marketing tool. It's a it's yeah, a one a free platform. commercial, and mm-hmm. it's so I feel like. You know, if you're gonna show my drama, show show everything. Yeah, show everything. Right. Yeah. But it yeah. ain't like you won't work it. Because at one point, I thought this girl ain't working. Where can people no. find the line? Like, you, online. Website? There's a website. Okay. I posted on my page. It's aroyalclothing.com. Okay. And the last collection we did was the Trendy Boys collection. We also okay. have a Trendy Boys page, and it's just like basically the boys or whatever, and it ties back to the A Royale page on okay. Instagram. Okay. Um, like soon we're gonna start with the fashion shows and all that different stuff okay. so that other kids can get involved and we could grow the brand. Okay. So that was that for the clothing line. Outside of that, I'm opening up a lounge in Harlem. Um, it ah. should be open actually before March first. So this month, it's and that's on, where you're gonna do your promoting it. 
Right, I'm going to do promoting there. I'm going to have certain events there. We're going to sell lunch, dinner. Like, we're going to... Okay. What's the name of the line? It's 2150. That's the address of it, and okay. I just kept it as the name. Okay. It's um, between 131st and 132nd on 5th Avenue. Okay. I might name it Harlem Hustler. Harlem Hustler. Harlem Hustler. I'm going to name it A-Royale and keep it going. No, I want to separate it. Okay. Just because, like, you know, it's liquor licenses, all that involved, and I don't want it under the same... Yeah, yeah, with his yes, it's two different mm-hmm. like do you, branding and marketing. Yeah. It's two different. Yeah. And nice. I want to start like a couple foundations. Um, one for children with incarcerated parents, and one for people with diabetes because that's something that like hits home. I lost my grandmother last year, and it was mainly because of diabetes. And like I know that's a big problem in the, especially the African American yeah, community. Right, right. So that's something that I want to bring awareness to. But yeah, and I'll I'll jump yeah. into business with anything that's gonna that's make me something some that's safe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it ain't all just drama and throwing drinks no. and bullshit. No, in real life, I'm yelling. like ninety eight percent straight, two percent drama. Well, that two percent is out there. It's the, no, it's, it's happening. Out. <laughs> Cause she's like, you know, Yan the troll. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she yeah, she <laughs> nicknames. But my thing is. You call me stuff all the time, so yeah. you got to be able to take it back. But the difference with me is I will say it when you're standing right there in front of me. Like, I'm not going to get on green screen and say and then mm. see you and be like, I didn't say that. No, yes, I said it. <laughs> mm-hmm. okay. A woman after my own heart. <laughs> yes, I said it. Those yes. green thing, those green screen things I like, though, because always explaining the drama that's yeah, happened or that's about happening. to happen and shit mm-hmm. like that, and everybody's dressed up looking good. Now, there's one thing about the show I noticed. You guys have to know the drama is getting ready to go down because everyone has makeup on. You never catch no one without makeup on. Right. And when you were going to that apartment with the key in your hand, mm-hmm. you knew something was up because the cameraman was there. Yes, and that we had a, it was explosive when we got there because they put you in these cars. Like they'll give you a location and the cars pick you right. up. They won't tell you the location or either they'll send like a car service well, if it's, it's not production. Some some take it. Right, so they do Damn. your makeup, they go put here, you on. This is, oh, they do your makeup. Right, they okay. don't tell you where you're going. They got you So we going, going, makeup. going. Yeah, they got good makeup people. They no, the makeup artists are dope. The makeup artists are dope. Yeah, they're dope. Um, they got shout out to their makeup artists. Management, management. Yes, yeah, uh, Takoa and yeah, they um, got them looking fly. Sean, Eric, Shantae, like, they, they're real good. So you knew something was popping. Now, this apartment, you said you don't stay. This is what happened. No, I flip. I'm like, why y'all taking me to my house? Like, what's going on? Why well, ain't coming up? But you had the key in your hand and everything. Right, so they had to get, like, the head producer on the phone, like, calm her down. She's flipping out. We don't know what's going to happen. So I'm like, first off, y'all can't take me in my, like, who did y'all speak to? This place is in my name. So right. nobody, what the, what's going on? So long story short, I go upstairs, and this note is on the door, and all of this stuff happens. So I'm like, all right, they playing with me. So they took me downtown. The real story that happened behind that is, that's my apartment. But you don't stay there. Mendici, I'm going to tell you what it is. No, I stay there. Mendici had this apartment since he was a kid. He was younger when he had this apartment. We were staying in Jersey together. When I had my son, I'm like, I don't want to come across this water anymore. Every morning, like I have doctor's appointments. Everything I do is in the city. My family's in the city. Your family's in the city. If little Mendici stays here, we have to take him to school. It's a lot, right. and you're not going to be running around and doing all of this while I'm across the water, and I don't know what the hell is going on. Right. So he's like, all right, we're going to get another place. Until we get another place, I'm going to fix the old place up, and we're going to stay there. Okay. So I was on that lease. He's had a household. I'm the spouse, and our son comes third. Production knows this because in order for them to release those tapes, I had to be the one to sign it. Yandy mm-hmm. has never had anything to do with this apartment. There is no POA in place. There's nothing. Even if it were, the POA does not override the fact that this is my apartment. Yeah, because if that's the case, no, listen, if that's the case, I could say I got a POA. I'm going to change your locks. Like anybody could go change somebody's locks. Okay. There were two keys out here. I had a key. Medici had a key. As soon as he left, I changed the key because he never gave me the other key back. I'm like, knowing him, he probably left it in the gym or somebody else had the key right, or right. whatever it is. For your safety. So his reasons, mother yeah. calls me. Judy is like, I'm telling you now, change your lock. I'm like, well, I was doing that anyway. Like, don't worry. So clearly Judy already knew something was up. Like, she knew the type of person that Yanzi was to go in there and take pictures and be like, this is my apartment. No, you have nothing right. to do with this. So when I changed the lock, Mendici's brother had a spare key. His brother was going away to Puerto Rico with his girlfriend. 
Mendeecee's sister, the one that came on TV, Nefa. Nefa, okay. Nefa, now I wasn't there. I'm assuming this is what Nefa did. Nefa told Tyrus, Mendeecee want me to have the key or whatever. That, she's the one that got the key from the brother, which I'm going to say, if my brother tell me, give somebody a key, or if my brother come to me and say, hey, Daddy said, give me the key. I'm not going to question. I'm just going to hand it over. Mm -hmm. right. So her and Nefa went up there. Nefa turned <laughs> it and popped the lock and changed it. And then when they got down to the scene where we were there, I said it. I'm like, yo, you changing locks? She like, I did that. Nefa like, nah, I changed it. And she held the key up. She so I'm did, like, oh, so sure you did. helped her. Yeah, she Dude, did. you the one who that. physically changed it. Yanzi didn't change it, but y'all plotted this whole thing. I feel from the way it looks like, for she, it. like she had him changed, like the super changed. Like, no, no, no. no. She's, what that. she did was illegal. And this is why she was like, oh, she going to call the cops on me. I ain't never called the cops on nobody a damn but I think she, but I think people play you against you and what I mean by that. She know you weren't probably gonna call. The and that's why so she that's did it. She, she knows I'm it. not the type of person People to call play the cops. against you. But then yeah. you can't get on TV and pop this mouth and then think you're not gonna suffer any consequences behind this. So now you mad that I'm pulling out this paperwork and that production is like, oh yeah, you a fraud. This girl got paperwork for days. Like, what are right. you talking about? So now she's embarrassed and I'm the bad guy. And then she runs to him like. Oh, she had people in the apartment. She doing this. She calling the cops. You gonna lose this. You even if this was the case, because I stay there, but all my stuff is there. All my son's stuff is there. Mendeecee has things that are there. He does not live there. He does not stay there. He was paying the bills there. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to get mad at somebody, isn't it on him to take his name off? If you married and you live together and you this and you that, he should take his name off. I shouldn't give up my apartment to please you. Now, when I say I don't live there, or I don't even think I, I didn't say I don't live there. I said I'm you not there right there. now. I'm you not staying stay there. there. Which stay. means, okay, it's mine regardless. That's like if you live somewhere and then you'd be like, okay, well, this is my apartment. This is home. This is always home. But I want to grab another spot somewhere else real quick because this is closer to work. This is closer to my son's school because I can, because I can have access to as many apartments as I want. Okay. You're going to do that. If you say, well, I decide to stay at a family member's house for this amount. I'm moving in with somebody else for this amount of time, but that's still mine. Just because I'm not there physically every moment of every day, if your what name does is that have it, to do with if you? your name is on the lease and her name wasn't on the right, lease. You may want to keep it for a family member that's yeah. But it's not, time, no, but... not, not even that. Let's say that for a week, I say, well, I'm going to go stay with this person right here because I'm an adult and I have the right to do so. And I say, all right, I'm going to go back home this week for a month, six months, and then I'm going to leave and I'm going to go somewhere else for two months. Just because I'm not there every second of every day doesn't mean that I don't live there or it's not mine. It's, like, what, you it's, can't. What, it's what you call dual residency. You. <laughs> you can okay. have any uh, amount of residence. All right. Residence All right. Not her like, storage like, or nothing else. Apartment she not staying in. But you see how much goes in the backstory that we see. Yeah. We look, you know, people, people, and even for me, like I know firsthand how it feels when people judge they don't know anything about they swear they just hear one horse speak and they just take it it's gospel they, like they know oh, your no. life and yeah like you said it's it's bible like oh my gosh well you always just it's 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 okay they come for you hard i know it's okay. i'll be on your face right. trying to defend you don't i once in a blue i go at it <laughs> once in a blue i'll be once trying but they come for me and i'll be like all right you, you can't let them back you down. You can't let them. Don't worry, back, back me no, down. No, I'm just joking. They don't back me down. No, I go hard for her on her page and the, and her kids page. So. A lot yeah. of times, though, I think it's people that are just miserable with themselves, I and agree. they just want to come on in and have a reason to argue and get their followers up and hopefully end up on shade room. Like, now, how are you I doing with followers? How are you doing with followers? You doing good? My followers increased since the show. I went from like what type of numbers we talking about? I went from like 20 something thousand to 80 something thousand. Oh, you're doing good. Yeah. You're about to shout yeah. me out on your page, so I'll get some followers. I'll shout you out. <laughs> and, but the followers, it's not about <laughs> quantity, it's about <laughs> quality. Like, I do quality, have yeah. some good followers. I do get a lot of email positive, about business. Yeah. I do get a lot of positivity. A lot of people that are like, okay. you know, I can relate to what do you Do you ever block people? Like, I don't block, I don't block nobody. Come come see you me. You do? Nope. I, 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 I will block No, because I'll be in there all day. I like you. I will block you. I don't want them to feel special. Like, I took my three seconds out to block you. No, I will block you. I'm not that bothered. Go ahead. Say I'm your friend, say. but I blocked you. Twice. She blocked me for like a week and didn't want to know what the fuck I was doing and came back. <laughs> <laughs> right. She couldn't take it. What's what this nigga doing? But yeah, Cardi B blocked me because my friend, I used to like Cardi B on her page, all mm -hmm. her ratchetness. So I told my friend and he went on her page and started following her. 
And then he tagged Boyfriend. me saying, this is the kind of bullshit you like, and tagged me on it. So she, she blocked, blocked me oh. and him. I cursed that nigga out. Like, you got me blocked. <laughs> Because Cardi B was getting in fights and coming back in the yeah, house. I ain't got no scars. This is before she was popping and on TV. i like, yo, this Spanish girl from the Bronx is off the hook. <laughs> well, I like, yeah, I like, yeah, Cardi. I like Cardi B too because she's true to form. She's true to character. Yeah. She's a real person. <laughs>